Welcome back. After seven months of development, Godot 3.3 has finally been released. As most of you already know, this release was initially planned to release as Godot version 3.2.4, but so many things were changing, the devs decided it made more sense to name it Godot version 3.3. If you are currently using version 3.2, then this release is a strongly recommended upgrade. The Godot team commits to long-term support on the Godot 3 branch. This includes any and all bug fixes, as well as backporting what they can from the mythical Godot 4.0 have confirmed that they're already working on Godot version 3.4, but don't have any timelines. As most things go with Godot, it'll be ready when it's ready. There's so many changes with this update. Far too many to cover in a single video. If you want to see the highlights, I will link a video covering the coolest features they added. Godot Steam is a Steamworks module for the Godot engine. It allows you to access the very powerful Steam API in your Godot games. GDYAFSM is a Godot add-on to implement a finite state machine. The cool part about this add-on is that it allows you to visualize the state machine, which can make it easier to debug. Godot SQLite is a GD native script to create a custom wrapper that allows you to run SQLite queries from within Godot. For those of you who don't know, SQLite provides an entire relational database management system within a single file. All the tables, users, and foreign keys exist in a single file, which makes it extremely portable. And now this is the part of the show where we talk about some cool projects made in the Godot engine. Too Fast is a unique take on 2D side-scrolling racing. Instead of weaving through traffic, you attempt to jump over the other cars while avoiding overhead obstacles. Seven Turns to Drown is a turn-based platform. Last Run is a deck looter card crawler. Simona's Requiem is a retro adventure platformer where you play as Simona, a servant to the Purple Cloak Reapers, tasked to claim the soul of the Fisher King who has hidden behind the moon. That's all I have for you this week. Like the video and thank you for watching.